All right, we're joined now by LSU coach Beth Tarina along with Allie Newland and Carly Petty. A reminder, we'll hear from coach first, and let's keep the questions for the students after, uh, student athletes after that before coming back to coach. Coach, can we get an opening statement? I'm really just at a loss for words. Um, congratulations to ULL. Um, they had a, a great season. They have a great team. I'm sure they'll do really well moving on, and we'll be pulling for them because, you know, I, I think the rivalry here is created more from the constant pairing than it is from the actual teams themselves. Those are nice girls. They're asking about my kids between innings, and, I mean, those are really nice girls over there. The, the rivalry is from the constant pairing of these two teams um, and what it continues to do instead of building softball in our state. Um, we should have the opportunity for two teams to be in the World Series from our state. So um, I, it has been one of the joys of my life to coach this team. They did everything right. They deserve more. Um, I have loved being their coach. I've really enjoyed this season with them. I'm devastated for them. Thank you to our seniors, to Georgia and Allie and Snab. They truly left it all out there and gave it all they had. Questions for Allie and Carly. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's what we said. As soon as the inning was over, we all looked at Sydney and said, we have your back. Like, nobody thought that we weren't going to score any runs. Nobody thought the game was over. And I think we did a great job of that all year, of just continuing to trust who we were and say to the person next to us, we have your back and step up. And we just showed up for her today, and that was the goal. Like, Ray Shaven looked at us and said, get her one run, and she's fine. And that's what we did. We just kind of kept trying to chip away at it. They're a great team to kind of keep chipping away at their pitchers and trust that we're great hitters, too. think that knowing and knowing my teammates have my back and just doing the best that I can in each at bat and not worrying about what I've done in the past just worrying what I'm doing towards the future and I just think that I just went up there with the confidence from all my teammates and just um, making sure I just did my best and leave it all I can at the plate and just hitting things hard I guess. I think this year went amazing. Like I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. Um, we've had our ups and downs as any team would, but I think as a team we had an amazing chemistry, an amazing atmosphere at, at Tiger Park, and I just have no words to describe how happy I was to become here and be part of this team. So. I didn't hear you. Yeah, I think it's a positive seeing teams like from obviously it's like awesome to see a team like I'm sorry. Is it good? Oh. Anybody go? You can go. Oh. Yeah, I think that um to have two schools this great at softball in Louisiana is incredible for the state. Like to have this stadium filled and to have two universities who truly deserve a shot to go to the World Series, who deserve to host a regional, who are doing those things year in and year out is great for softball in this state. Um, and I think that sure, more variety would be great. Um, obviously we needed to play better today. We need to get a win today, but to have two teams this great at softball in this state is good for Louisiana. And to have them not pitted against each other definitely would make a difference here. Yeah, I think she's incredible. She's, I remember in the fall looking at her and saying, if you won't set the ceiling for yourself, there isn't one. And there truly isn't. She is an incredible pitcher and will, she will come back here, I promise you, trying to be the best pitcher on the planet. Like I have no doubt about it. She's gonna go home, she's gonna put in the work and she's gonna come back here with a different fire in her. And I can't wait to see it. I have no words to describe the kind of competitor she is, the kind of work ethic she has, and we're all gonna get it done behind her, and I just can't wait to see what she continues to do here. Yeah, I think that um, 
describing Georgia as an emotional boost in general is correct. Just not even from an offensive perspective, just her entire personality and the way that she leads this team. She does a great job. Um, it really is shoes that aren't going to be filled by one person. Nobody is like, oh, God, we need to replace Georgia because it's not possible. It's not going to be done here. And I think that she has done such a good job of – continuing to lead this team with her voice, with her bat, with everything that she does, and continues to just instill confidence in us day in and day out, regardless of her outcomes, regardless of our outcomes. I remember in February when I couldn't buy a hit, and she knew. Like, she knew I was going to have the year that I had, never thought different. And I think that for her to do that for all of us all the time is just a testament to the grit that she has because through her ups and downs in the year, it's always Georgia. And I think that her showing up like that makes a huge difference to us. And – we're going to have to figure out how to find some juice without her next year. For me? Um, I think that anytime you're trying to fill a senior class with shoes, that's hard. And especially when we have three as, cre as incredible as we have. But um, I think that nobody knows what we have unless you are in the walls of Tiger Park every day. And it's not a question we can answer. We're going to come back on August, whatever it is, and we're going to go to work and we're going to figure it out. But there's nothing that I thought this team was missing. We're an incredible softball team. It's the best one that I've been a part of here. Uh, a team that loves each other more than in the three years that I have been here. It was truly a blessing to play with my best friends this year. And I think that that's what we have to do. We have to come back to work on August 20, whatever, and figure out how to get back here. Um, I think that this team was so good at making me confident. And it's truly, like, a testament to them to make me, like, keep getting my best swing off. That's what, like, that's what everybody said. You have a great swing. Get your best swing off. And when I finally just said, screw it, and tried to do that all the time, things started to go better for me. But truly a testament to the confidence that this staff and this team had in me all year to just keep getting me to the plate and keep, like, no matter what my outcomes were. Like, when I got out, they were surprised. And that is truly just a blessing to have in a team, and it's not something that happens everywhere. And I can't say enough about this staff and this team and how they made me confident every day. One or two more for Carly or Allie. Ladies, thank you for your time. Tom Allie. Same format, just come at coach. What was the plan for Jordan in the seventh inning? I'm sorry? I can't hear you. What was the plan for the Jordan at bat, Jordan Campbell at bat in the seventh? To intentionally walk her. I mean, in hindsight, Sydney Burzon's probably not ever done that in a game before. It's not something we do a lot. We've we've done it in practice at times, but you know, I mean, obviously, that's a takeaway. I'm gonna do at some point. You know what I mean? Like we're gonna be better at that moving forward. So, um, I mean, it, I'm gonna think about it every day for the next six months. I think about that decision. We were trying to intentionally walk her. No. No. I think she was just inexperienced in executing that, and that's on me. That's on me. Um, I mean, I looked at the scoreboard, and there's six runs, but only two hits. You know, I mean, I thought that she was our best option. I thought she was our best matchup. Um, and I was confident that she would find the zone. I mean, the real problem in the first inning was just not being able to find the strike zone. And then once she did that, I thought she was fine. Um, probably ran out of gas some at the end. You know, she's battled a little hip issue for a while. And I'm, I'm sure she just ran out of gas at the end. And um, I still felt like it was her game.
Yeah, I think they're a great program. I think, you know, the two teams really, in my eyes, get along very well. Um, you know, it's enjoyable to be around them, and I think – um, they've done a great job. It's a really deep team. It's a deep lineup. It's a deep pitching staff. It feels like it never ends when they keep coming to the plate and they swing big. So I'm sure they're going to have a great run in the postseason, and we'll be pulling for them every step of the way. I watched 32 games. I watched 32 of their games. I've seen a lot of her at bats. I've seen all of her at bats in the 32 games. I, honestly, I didn't see any of that. I had I looked away. At, there was, I don't know, was there a runner on base at the time? I, I don't know where I looked, but I missed the entire thing. There was a runner on base. Sierra was on first because she was, had moved up on the ball, not foul. I looked at her on the pitch. I, I missed the entire thing. hard because this team did so many things right. They were so talented and just did so many things right. They're the team that if our strength coach asked them to run, you know, eight shuttles, they'd run nine. Like they're the team that just did every single thing right. Just feels devastating for them. So, um, you know, obviously we have some depth issues in a couple spots that would have been better, I think. Um, you know, I think we fixed that with our incoming class. We had some depth issues in the middle infield. Um, we had a really young pitching staff, obviously, you know, as we have the ball in the hand of a freshman all day today, you know, multiple freshmen, right? The first game we had Ailey Johnson and Ray Chafin, freshman and sophomore. So, um, you know, it's a really young pitching staff. So just continuing to get them experience. I did. I did consider going to her for Jordan Campbell. Um, Another decision that I'll continue thinking about for the next six months, maybe the next six years, maybe the next 16 years. Um, yeah, I did. I think the first thing is it's a lot of respect for both programs that they're in the postseason long enough. I mean, that many, they're in the postseason every single year. We're in it enough to even make this a thing where the two schools have met the most in postseason play since the super regional format. The two schools have met the most of any two schools in the country. And we've met eight times since 05. That's the most meetings. Um, the graphic on the game is the number of games played. But the number of times they've been matched up in the regional is, to my knowledge, is eight times. And that's the most since we've changed the super regional format. Um, you know, I think at this point we should seed the twos. I think we should seed one through 32. Um, I understand the cost that goes with it, but I think that way you give everybody a, a level playing field and a fair opportunity to compete against the best. And I plan to be the president of the seed the twos committee. One or two more for coach. I mean, I think this team is incredibly strong moving forward. I mean, we return the majority of the people in the starting lineup. Um, I think, you know, we bring in some really strong freshmen. I think our pitching staff will gain this year of experience, you know. Um, so I think this will be a really, really strong team moving forward. I mean, I think there's seven seniors on next year's team, and I think the majority of them are in our everyday lineup. So um, they're going to have a ton of experience. They're going to have a ton of fight. I mean, I, I think – and what I just told them is I know that they feel terrible and there's not words I can tell them to help them, but if they walk out of here and they're capable of that kind of fight, I mean, they're going to go a long way in their life because that was an incredible battle that they just tried to pull off. They were so close to pulling off. It, it almost was the greatest story we've ever told. I think we're going to have to do some... 
um, TLC with Sydney. I know she feels terrible, um, but honestly, we wouldn't have been in the game without her. We wouldn't have had the season we did without her. So um, she'll come back strong. I know she will. She's a really strong, tough, tough player, and I know that she'll come back strong. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.